Hello everybody, welcome to Polygames, I'm your host Joseph, and today we are playing Far Cry Primal on the PlayStation 4, and that's exactly what we're going to be talking about. This is my first impressions, a get-to-know Far Cry Primal video. Uh, this isn't a review, this is just my first impressions. A review will be out probably tomorrow, uh, as soon as this video drops, I'll get right to reviewing it. Anyway, uh, Far Cry Primal, it came out, or actually was announced November, that it was going to come out. February and exactly it did a lot of people were very skeptical though you know they were very hesitant because this is a spin-off of a very popular franchise and it's taking a very different look at Far Cry now I wasn't really skeptical about it because usually Far Cry games are, you know they're modern day this one is 10,000 years in the past but Far Cry has had a way of doing really crazy shit with their IP. You know, they had Blood Dragon, this futuristic 80s style game. So I wasn't really, you know, scared about what was going to become of Primal. With that being said, though, um, this game takes, pa you know, takes place 10,000 years in the past. So it's quite a ways away. There's no guns. There's no AK-47. Um, you know, so expect that. Uh, this game really takes the hunting and gathering aspects from, you know, both Far Cry 3 and 4, and that is really this game. And it's really strange, because you don't see a lot of games, you know, have spinoffs and they take something away from the game. But taking guns out of Far Cry makes the game, to me, a lot better. I really actually like this game a lot more than 3 or 4 gameplay-wise, because I never really liked the gunplay. With that being said, though, let's get right into the story. The one thing I was skeptical about is the fact that, you know, are they going to speak English? You know, are they going to have an accent to them if they do? A lot of games, they take that and they just run with it, right? Like Assassin's Creed Unity, great example. You know, um, it takes place in the French Revolution and your guy has a British accent. You know, that game was not accurate when it comes to accents at all. Uh, World of Warcraft, which is a great one. Medieval fantasy, they all have American accents. So, with that being said, this game surprised me. It took a really, really gutsy thing and it said, you know what? They're going to talk primitive. They're not talking English. I, it's a dialect that I'm not familiar with. And I like that. You know, you really have to read the subtitles because that's what, you know, their words get translated into. And it's really simple. It's not like they're giving you a paragraph or a speech you have to read. It's usually just simple one, two, maybe three lines tops that you have to read. It's really great. I like it a lot. If you hate subtitles, this might not be the game for you. Uh, with that being said, there's a lot of attention to detail. As we were looking through this world and how vibrant and beautiful it is, um, the faces in this game how people talk to you, interact. It's such a breath of fresh air from the last game I reviewed, uh, Street Fighter V. Faces actually move. They're giving an emotion, you know, and you feel it as well. And the characters so far are pretty good, yet there's not really a definable bad guy. You know, it's really just a group of assholes this time, um, kind of like in Far Cry 3, sort of. And uh, that I could kind of do without. Uh, the villains and the story, the plot isn't that strong. But yet again, you know, I'm not here for the story. I'm actually here for the gameplay. Let's talk about that. You know, you read the title. Far, you know, uh, it's it's like Skyrim with spears. That's exactly what this game is. This actually, remember the, 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 the coin phrase in Far Cry 3? It's like Skyrim with guns. Yeah, actually, if you take the guns out of the equation, this game does play similarly to Skyrim. You know, it plays similarly to an Elder Scrolls game. You know, the way I played an Elder Scrolls game was I'm a, I was a ranger with a bow and arrow, and if I had to, I would, you know, fight with a club. Only if I had to. And I play this game exactly the way I would play Skyrim. So, you know, it's 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 familiar to me, and I, and I welcome that familiarity. It's really great. I love, 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 love using the bow and arrow. And I feel like that's what, you know, the developers got, you know, that... You know, people love in the third one and the fourth one taking down, you know, fortresses with just a bow and arrow and hunting and gathering. This is what this game is. This is what I'm showing you early on. I'm not showing you any plot. Just me roaming around shooting guys in the dome, taking them to Pound Town. <laughs> That's all this is, you know, a simple bow. And then the other thing is to the, um, the clubs 
and the spears that you use in this game are pretty awesome as well definitely the spear actually i love how if you get a direct hit it just feels like you really punctured them though the only thing that really sucks is the melee combat range is awesome melee combat there's not a lot of animations towards anything if you hit somebody with a club it doesn't look like they flinch at all you know they just uh ah, ah, and they just keep on hitting you it's really, it's really just, you know, how, how fast you can click the, your mouse or your, your PS4 trigger is how you will kill this guy. You know, um, it, it's, I don't know. There's something about it. It kind of, the swings look like that of like a, of a swinging a Minecraft axe. There you go. That's the word I wanted to use. You know, not a lot of animation towards that. With that being said though, you got an animal, uh, you get to tame animals, which is uh, really cool. Uh, I got, you know, you get a wolf right out the bat and, a, and an owl. That's what I'm using currently. Um, they're all right. They help. They're not the smartest, and nor is the AI you fight the smartest. But yet again, I'm fighting Neanderthal, so I'm not expecting the smartest, you know, combatants ever. Um, with that being said, how does this game look? This game, well, <laughs> looks fucking great. Earlier on, you saw that I was in some type of, like, little cavern, like, ridge formation you see that the lighting effects are just out of this world insane crazy i love it this the lighting effects in this game are spectacular the great thing too about this game is you know the game is totally different in in the daytime and at night you know there's different animals and enemies that come out at night and they're more fearsome at night so you really gotta pick when the sun's going down do i risk and keep on hunting or do i you know find a place to stay and you know you know, go back to my village. Um, there's also, with that being said too, I almost forgot there is a base building aspect. It's actually pretty basic and I actually like that. It's not too intricate. Um, it helps you level up your weapons and armor and all that jazz. So that's pretty cool. Uh, so yeah, looks, game's beautiful. This game has to be one of the most beautiful games I've played. If not the most beautiful game I played. I did not play The Witness this year. I played Street Fighter V. Was not in too impressive with these graphics. The range and the scope of this game is just beautiful. That being said, too, if you have a bow and arrow and like you light an arrow on fire, you shoot a bush. That bush bursts into flames. And then the tree next to it. And then the grass around it. Until everything starts just... It's a forest fire. And I'm not the one that, like, I don't like forest fires, but that's how usually fires spread. I mean, I don't know anything about that nonsense. But then you also see, you know, wildlife running away from this fire. It's like, it's like the scene from Bambi all over again. All the wildlife just escape, and then the fire soon then just dies out, just, like, naturally. Again... That is insane. I've never seen that in a game. You know, I saw like the destructibility of Battlefield 4 and whatnot, but this game takes it to a realistic level and uh, like it has a kind of bit of beauty to it. Um, I like that a lot. That was actually one of the most impressive things about this game was how the, you, you know, how you affect the environment. Uh, and lastly, last but not least, we're going to talk about the sound. Sound quality is all right. You know, it's pretty good, you know. You sound like you're hurting people uh, or animals when you're hunting them. You know, bows when they or arrows when they fly past you, you hear it and you get a little like a little dazed when they f sw uh, swing by you. Um, music, it's really ancient sounding. It sounds like you know if you ever played the first Age of Empires when you're in, you know, when you're just an ancient or like classic um, era. It sounds just like that. I like it. It's it's tribal. It's great. I really like the sound. I really like the graphics. So far, so good is what I have to say for Far Cry. I'm pr I'm really pleasantly surprised. I was not thinking I was going to like it as much as I did. So with that being said, guys, um, I got what we got like, I think five or six minutes left of gameplay footage. So I'll let you guys see all the other stuff that I do around here. And with that being said, everybody have a great day. Enjoy yourselves.
Oh, shit. 